Okay. <laughs> so here, yes. Okay, basically, let's go give them these bones. If you're worried that your cat might not like bone, let's take a moment for me to put in a little clip of puppy's reaction to chewing on some bone. So here I have some, okay, okay. <laughs> so here, yes. Okay, basically, let's go give them these bones. Kill him. I just kicked him. Here you go, here you go. Because I only put 75% of the bones into the mix or into the blender. And so what I'll do sometimes is give him a couple of the other ones to chew on as I am making the food. And if you can see, he loves his bones. Oh, look at him go. It's really good for his teeth. It's good for him and his primal crunch factor. So yeah, the food may be, for the most part, pretty ground up, but he, you know, does get some chewing in here. And there he goes. As you can see, he loves it. I got the question a lot, why don't you keep chunks of bone in your food or, or the bone is good for the cat's teeth and all that stuff. And yeah, it totally is. He loves it. And I give it to him typically as he is waiting for his food to be made or it could be a good snack for cats because when you cut out their dry food, you also want to cut out the dry food snacks. I'm going to do another benefits video because there's a few more benefits to mention when it comes to what you will see when you transition your cat into a raw food diet. And if you're worried about the bone splintering or hurting your cat, it's important to remember that raw bone is actually pretty soft. It's when you cook it that it becomes a little more hazardous, but raw bone is, is pretty pliable, it's pretty soft. That's one of the reasons why if you have a high quality blender at home, it'll blend up a lot faster than you might anticipate. Please feel free to leave a comment down below if you have a question that you want to be answered in the next Q&A or if you have any specific videos that you want to be made. Also, make sure to like this video by clicking the thumbs up down this way, I believe. It helps me to know what you guys like to see so I can put up more videos of that content. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below if you want to get updates and notifications whenever I upload a new video which is typically about cat stuff or fitness or workouts recipes for humans and cats and stress management techniques thank you so much for watching i hope you have a beautiful day and i will see you guys next week bye Ooh, real quick grocery store tour guide, holistic fitness starter guide. This is full of a ton of things. It's great for kids. I think it's great for people going off to college. Of course, the holistic fitness starter guide, which is a breakdown of my approach when it comes to feeling your best, feeling your healthiest. It's on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, that's it.